All right, so a lot of people have been asking me to make some more videos, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. And uh, right now I'm gonna make sort of like a beginner's guide to uh, posing. And uh, yeah, so I'll just go through all the main poses and uh, just like, this is a beginner's guide, so it's not gonna be that any uh, advanced stuff, just like how, teaching you like how to uh, do the poses. I just got done with a chest workout. So that's why I'm breathing so hard. Right. So uh, first, we'll just start off with the relaxed. What I like to do, just bend my knees a little bit. And then all you gotta do is just flex your lats. If you don't know how to do that, just bring your arms out, but not just like this. Sort of like, it's like the opposite of retracting your scalp, scapula like this. Just think of like putting your shoulders out, but obviously it has to be open. Open like this. And you could either lock your knees, but that doesn't look as good as being nice and wide and having your knee. Right, so that's the relax. I like to be nice and big, nice and tall. And then, well, I'll, I'll teach you the uh, front lat pose first. So, same thing with the relaxed, same foot position. And then, um, I remember whenever I first started, I didn't really have a lot of trouble with it. It's just making it look good. So, basically, um, like if you're a beginner, you might not like, this pose might not work that well because obviously you can't see your lats. So it's not gonna be like, it's gonna be kind of difficult at first. But once you start growing your lats, it should be, you know, more visible and stuff. Right, so basically, what I, I like to start out with back myself, scapula, and then, almost like the relaxed pose. Think about your shoulders going out like this, but at the same time, you don't want to be like this, you know? Like that. Some people do that, that's fine. Personally, it looks better. If you just, I, I like to, you could either do it straight on like this, or you could back up like this, like kind of like a bend in your back or you just do it straight. But I don't really like when people do stuff like this. You know? Well, I mean, that's mainly for the, the back lat spread, but yeah. So. Straight. And then, now, I'll go into the, uh, the side tricep and the side chest. All right, so, uh, um, and, Another thing with the front lat spread, uh, I do my front and back lat spread the same, so I just I just do that. So just do your front lat spread, and then it's the same as the back lat spread. And with the back lat spread, well, lat spread, I like to bring the leg up. You know. Or, or you don't have to bring the leg out. Just do it like that. But it looks better with the leg out. So now I'll do the side tricep and side chest. So one thing that's the same for both of these poses are the legs. Now, uh, first you might just wanna just focus on actual side chest and side tricep part, but for the leg part of these poses, what I like to do is uh, get a little, you know, uh, just pose like that, or yeah, just flex like the calf, and put your leg, your hamstring, uh, like putting pressure, like you're pushing this leg, into this leg, like that, 
So you can really see that hamstring sweep. You might not be able to see it that well because the lighting in here is fucking terrible. So yeah. Um, yeah, push it like that, like that. Get that hamstring activated. But other than that, the actual side tricep part, uh, just, uh, this is all that trans transition stuff. Uh, this isn't really my good side side tricep, but just what I like to do. Here, I'll do it on the side views. Feels better. Uh, I like just do that, kind of grab it, and then swing into it like that. Yeah, and um, you can just stay relaxed. You can, the vacuum will kind of come naturally or you can force it, but it'll, I mean, it'll kind of look the same, but. Yeah, that one's kind of hard to explain. Um, but with these poses, I mean, I just, the way I found out, I just kind of did it on my own. And the little things I kind of looked up online. Yeah, and um, uh, with the side tricep, I used to do mine like this, straight down, oh, and with the side tricep. Uh, like a lot, a lot of beginners don't need to know how to do the side tricep because um, like how it works basically. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take this arm, the opposite arm that you're flexing the tricep with, what I do is like kinda like, like grip it like that. And then, like that, right? So that's what I'm doing behind my back. So grip that like that, and then you can go straight down like this. And what I used to do, the way I used to do my side tri tricep, sort of like with a vacuum. And then it's just straight down. The, but the way I do it now, it just looks better for me now, is I'll lean back a little bit, have the tricep straight down like that. You wanna have like the arm vertically, and then you're gonna be kind of leaning back a little bit, but you're flexing your abs instead of a vacuum. So yeah, whichever one you, you prefer. It's all about practice. You have to practice these poses to get them perfect. And they're never gonna get perfect. You're, every time you practice, you're gonna want them differently. Like, yeah. So practice, practice, practice. Practice your posing. And um, uh, front double bicep. Uh, you can kind of do like the relax bent knee position, and then just, uh, mainly this pose getting into it is just transitioning, but the way I found it best, instead of going like that, like going up into it, um, like you notice my shoulders can move up and down like this, right? So whenever you just come into it like this, it doesn't look that good, but you go up into it like this, again, kind of with the relaxed pose, stand nice and strong, nice and tall. And notice my shoulders, they're kind of, you can't really see this well because this angle's kind of bad, but they're kind of up almost, instead of down like this. They're sort of up and instead of down like this. And with the uh, angle of the arms, don't have your angle like this, all right? Keep it a nice, almost 90 degree angle. And you could even almost come up like this. That's a little bit of an exaggeration, but some people actually do it like this, you know? So I like to do kind of like a, a little bit more than 90 degree angle. And yeah, uh, you can do a vacuum. 
Or you could just, I mean, I kind of just leave my like midsection alone for that pose. And for the front double, uh, since I do it kind of high with the back double, I like to bring it down to really bring back, bring out my back. So this, this would be the front double if you're looking at it from the back, like that. This is how I do my back double. Or I'm gonna go from front double and then it's gonna go into the back double. Notice the difference. Front double, back double. But that's just me. You have to go out there, practice your poses and see how you want them how you want them. You have to go practice and see how you want them. Everyone poses differently. So um, those are kind of just so, some of the poses. Obviously there's way more poses and custom poses, but yeah, uh, those are just some of the poses. Yeah.